So it needs special training for a teacher to understand what autism is. So we are requesting that the teachers who are trained may be posted so that they cap the, man the manners of uh, the teacher ratio, learner ratio, because we find that the teacher learner ratio of children with autism should be two to one. So two to one, you find that uh, teachers handle 30 children in the class. They may not be effective. By handling 30 learners in the class, they may not be effective. So we are asking for more teachers to be posted, more schools to be built, so that the children can enjoy the right to education like any other Kenyan child, without being limited that there is no school, there is no teacher, and the rest of the things. So as we are coming out today, we are happy that uh, we are spreading awareness machinani in the village. Ours is awareness machinani in the village. We are reaching the far end. Those who do not have WhatsApp, those who are not on social media, those who do not even, some of them don't even have radios and TVs. So we are reaching them out one by one through this and we are asking for support of uh, our people who have been supporting us. As we continue spreading awareness, we know that much we is still going on and we will still honor more days to come to raise awareness from the village so that our people in the village can know that there is no cure for autism. There is no medical test for autism. Autism is a lifelong uh, neurological condition that the child will only outgrow and live within after all his life. So we appreciate and we want the people to be friendly. When you see a child behaving in a different way, please be friendly and get to know. Do not judge them. Don't be judgmental to our children because we may not know what they are going through. So we are asking the public to accommodate them so that we embrace them, their diversity. They are just differently talented. They don't have anything unique. Let's embrace this because in the village, so many people are hiding their kids with autism. So, if you know anybody who is, who is, who is there at home with a kid inside the house, kindly help them to know about this. Thank you. Today is to let everyone to know about this and to embrace it and to know that they are not left outside. As we celebrate the autism the Autism Pride Day. Mm. Uh, autism and uh, epilepsy are connected uh, because both of them are uh, uh, neurodiversity conditions. And, and uh, we find that uh, people with epilepsy, 30% of people with epilepsy are autistic and vice versa. So they are connected in one way or another. That's why you find that uh, Children or people with autism uh, are convulsed at one time, and when they convert, the they, they medi medication that we use for, for convulsions as people with epilepsy is the same uh, drugs that they use also. So ep uh, epilepsy and autism are uh, related, and that is uh, why we are here today to celebrate together uh, with our partners, Jonathan Rays of Hope. We do this to these children with autism, uh, it encourages them that they, are, uh, they, uh, they also count in the community. It encourages our parent, the parents and caregivers so that because in most cases we find that uh, the parents and uh, caregivers do not accept this condition. So they hide their children in, in most cases. But what we, we, uh, uh, our partners have done today is encourage, quite encouraging to